today I'm going to show you everything that I got for my three children for Christmas and birthday this year because actually it's Clara's birthday on the 31st of January, her first birthday, and it's my middle son's third birthday on the 28th of December. I decided to do a what I bought for my children video this year rather than my usual gift guide video or set of videos and that's because I feel like <laughs> there's only so many things that you can suggest that are good for children and babies or certainly my recommended things and a lot of the things I would be repeating. So I'm going to leave links to all my previous gift guides, Christmas gift guides, birthday gift guides in the description down below. There's plenty to go through and all those ideas are still relevant now. I am going to start by saying that Rupert has a lot more than Finley, that's our three-year-old, has a lot more than our five-year-old. Sorry, Clara's down here playing with toys, that's what you can hear. That's because Finley's main present is that we're actually taking him to London for Christmas. Just the three of us, my husband, Finley and I are going. I'm very excited about it. We've never done anything like this before. He has been talking about London for as long as I can remember. He's obsessed with the idea of going. I asked him a while ago if he'd be happy with a present that was an experience rather than a present under the tree and he said yes so we will see we have got him a few things to unwrap and he will of course have lots of presents to unwrap from grandparents family and friends as well so his present from father christmas you'll be unsurprised to know is this double decker bus it came from, well, it's a Chad Valley one, but we got it from Argos slash Sainsbury's and it has buttons and the wheels move and it makes noise. I will not press them now to annoy you. Um, he spotted this ages ago when we were in Sainsbury's and has been obsessed with the idea of getting it ever since. So that is what he's getting from Father Christmas. Rupert's present from Father Christmas, bless him, is very simple. It is this little Father Christmas decoration and that is because that's what he wants. <laughs> He wants a Santa decoration or a decoration Santa, as he calls it, for Christmas. This one came from Morrison's. It was about £1.50. So he's going to sit in his stocking. Then he did mention ages ago that he also wanted to have a Spider-Man from Father Christmas. So this is one and he's actually, I've just realised, got like armature things in so you can pose him which is handy. I also got selection boxes for both the boys and Lawrence actually. This is a bit of a family tradition so we always get these at Christmas time. That's something that my mum started. And then the other things that we've bought for Finley are this wooden airport extension set which came from Aldi. He loves trains and train tracks so I thought this would be perfect. We're also going on our first abroad holiday as a family of five next year so this will be a good kind of present to get him started on role playing that and being excited about it. Then we've got him this shopping game. Finley loves board games and he is getting quite a few board games from family and friends. And then Finley's last present for Under the Tree from us apart from obviously his stocking presents, but they're not under the tree, are some new slippers because he really needs some. In fact, he doesn't have any slippers yet because his old ones are way too small for him. These came from Marks and Spencers, actually from the Marks and Spencers outlet, and they've got diggers on, so perfect for him. Clara is our 10 month old, and to be honest, 10 month olds don't need a lot for Christmas, especially as she has two older brothers, so she's got lots of toys to play with already. Her main present that we're getting her from Christmas and her present from Father Christmas actually hasn't arrived yet, so I'm going to put screenshots up now of what we're getting for her. She's asked for, she, we have asked for a spinning toy from Father Christmas. The reason, obviously, that we've done that is because the boys know about Father Christmas, so we wanted her to be able to get something from Father Christmas too. So we're getting her this spinning toy, and we're also getting her some new dummies, because that is what the boys sweetly thought that she would like. And then for her main present, we're going to get her this ball drop toy. I thought that she would really like the idea of dropping the balls down, and then it's got like a little lever that they have to press to lift the ball back up to start again. It will really appeal to her sense of interest at the moment. So that's what she's getting for her main present from us. And then we also have this little cute hand knitted doll that I got from the charity shop for three pounds. And it's one of these ones that reverses. Oh, I used to have these when I was a little girl. Then 
This is very similar, but this is actually for her birthday, but I'll show you now. We've got her this little rag doll. So that's her birthday gift from us. Then I've got her two books that are new to her. I think probably I'll give her one for her birthday and one for Christmas. And in all honesty, we'll probably get her something else for her birthday, but it may not be a very exciting toy. She needs bedding because probably when she's around 18 months, she's going to be switching from sleeping bags to a duvet. So I do want to get her some nice bedding for her bedroom. So we may well get her that for her birthday. I got her these two. That's not my books, that's not my unicorn, that's not my fairy. These also came from the charity shop, they were 99 pence each. Um, and she loves these books because we've already got quite a few from the boys, which are in a pretty sorry state now. These ones are in a really nice condition. And then on to Rupert, who is our, I want to say toddler, but actually he's about to turn three, so I guess he's a preschooler really. He's no longer a toddler, but his main present is a vet set. Rupert absolutely loves role play. That is his favorite thing to do. And there is a role play vet set at Playgroup and he adores it. So I knew that that was the angle that we should go down for Christmas. So I got him this little carry case and it does have some medical bits and bobs, you know, like a stethoscope and stuff. We actually do have a doctor's kit already, but the boys fight over it. So it will be useful to have another one. It has got a little tiny puppy in there, but I actually got him this very, very soft, cute little cat, mainly because she looks just like our cat Trixie. So I thought that he would love to have his own little Trixie to take care of. And then I got him a, a costume, a vet costume. Sorry, I know that light is just obnoxiously bright there, isn't it? I just don't want to be too too shadowed. Um, we got him this vet costume and it came with a little mask and one of these little surgeon's hats. I know he's gonna love wearing this. It says Animal Hospital on the back and this came from Vinted and it was I think £3.50 or £4. Vinted is a great place to look for Christmas presents that are this kind of thing. You can get toys on there as well but they tend to be a little bit more pricey because of the postage, unless they're really small toys. Facebook Marketplace though is a great place to look for secondhand toys. And I always do secondhand toys for at least some of the children's presents because they don't care and it saves money. It's good for the planet. And it just means that we are recycling and reusing toys. And when we don't need things anymore, we pass them on to the charity shop or sell them on Facebook Marketplace. And then things can just go around and keep on getting used. And I think that's a really good thing to do. Rupert also has some slippers. These are little dinosaur booties, again, from the Marks and Spencers outlet. Dinosaurs are one of his favorite things. Clara's enjoying playing with all the boys' Christmas toys. <laughs> By the way, I keep on dropping things down there for her to have a look at. I don't think that that matters. Rupert also has a little game. This is a blippy, love him or hate him. I think most people tolerate him, don't they? But <laughs> this is a blippy ice cream game that came from Aldi. Rupert adores anything to do with ice creams or ice cream shops. We've got a... Uh, a Melissa and Doug ice cream shop, which was one of our most played with toys. It's absolutely fantastic. I would recommend it if you don't have anything similar already. To go along with the role play theme, we got him this set of wooden biscuits from Aldi and it comes in a little box, which I know he'll love sorting. And actually, Clara will love playing with this too because she loves a box with a lid and she likes taking things out and putting them back in, taking the lid on and off. So this is a good present for both of them. That is all we got Rupert for Christmas. And then we got him some extra things. As I said, it's his birthday on the 28th of December. So for his birthday, he has got this afternoon tea set, which is a bit plasticky, but I, it's got cakes and he just loves anything to do with role play cakes. And I did have a look at wooden ones of these, but to be honest, they just, I just found that this one was one that he would like more. So plastic toys get such a bad rap and yes, it's more sustainable in a way to buy wooden toys, but sometimes plastic is good as well. And they're really great washable toys. Great if you've got little ones that dribble on everything. So <laughs> he's got that. We got him this musical floor puzzle. This came from 
the range, I think. And it's one of the ones where you make the puzzle and then it's got a button that you press and it sings Old MacDonald. He has one, I don't know if it's this exact one or very similar at his godmother's house and he loves to play with that. So he will enjoy that. I've just moved you a bit closer. That light was just really annoying me, sorry. So we have got this for Rupert as well. He doesn't love vehicles, but he does like to play with them sometimes. And Finley is incredibly possessive about his vehicles. So we got him this so that he would have his own vehicle set and it's got dinosaurs, which is Rupert's bag because he loves animals and dinosaurs. There's a little head that's come to join us. Clara's not been very well over the past few days, so she's still in a really snuggly mood, aren't you? You're just a bit of a snotty miss. I forgot to show this for Christmas, but we got Rupert this wooden cash register from Aldi to go with the afternoon tea set that we're getting him for his birthday because I thought it would be nice for him to be able to play cafes and shops. As I mentioned, he has an ice cream shop already that he loves, so that's an extra present too. If you want to see the video on what I got to put in the children's stockings for this year, then make sure that you stay tuned for that. Leave a comment if this video was useful to you. I would really appreciate it. It does really help me and give it a like if you did like it and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Good waving. <laughs> bye bye.